anytime that we are going to be publishing a report, this was our set of example visuals here, um, but we're going to want to think about where that data is stored and what we're publishing and where we're publishing it to. So let's go ahead and look up here on the Home tab. We're going to go to Publish. I'll go ahead and save changes. It may ask me to uh, name my report. Ah, here we are. So now we're going to select the workspace that we want to publish this report to. So I'll go ahead and click Example Workspace 1. And we'll see that it's publishing to Power BI. Now if I toggle back over to my workspace, what we will see is that if you recall, we had not uploaded uh, the data that was building report two. So we had a connection to my data, but we also had a new connection to a CSV file. And so we'll see that there's now a data set that is published along with report two that is called report two. So let's see if I can actually filter to show that. On the top right, I can filter between a data set and a report. So let's see our data sets that are here now. So my data we recall was what I connected to within Power BI Online. Uh, the report two now contains all of my data. It will have both my CSV data published to the cloud, as well as my data that it was pulling from originally. All right. One great practice to have when managing workspaces and publishing is to create workspaces that are related to dev, QA, and prod. Uh, so development, quality assurance, or UAT testing, and production. So you could actually have spaces where only your developers have access uh, that allows for publishing of in-progress reports that no one else has to see. Uh, and then you can have the UAT testing for a select set of users and a prod workspace for the final example. So I'm going to take us through and show an example of what that might look like. And voila, I have just created three workspaces to show uh, a best practice, which could be to split your development into dev QA and prod here on the left. So in this example, I might have instead published my workbook to the dev environment. And I can only do that from within Power BI desktop. I'll say yes, I'm enjoying Power BI. Okay. Uh, so one thing to note is that you can't copy and paste or move reports within Power BI. So for example, when I created report to and published to Power BI, uh, there's really no option for me to move this report or copy it. I have to download it and then I have to publish it to the right place. So this is how I can copy this particular report over into two areas. I'll publish it in this case into dev. And if I look now in the dev workspace, I've got report to report, as well as its underlying data set that exists inside of the dev environment. Notice that this does also create a copy of the data set. Now, this is only because I had downloaded the data set itself uh, and because that data set did not already exist. So just one thing to note, it will copy over not only your report, but also the underlying data set. Uh, this is something to consider for a future video related to how we can manage our underlying data so that everyone is connecting to the same data. Thank you.